What's going on everyone? Today in this video we'll talk about the Raspberry Pi Ice Tower and how we can put it in this case. So stay tuned. Moving on after Raspberry Pi being out of stock and overpriced for many months, I was finally able to get my hand on some of them so I can start working on some projects. This is thanks to Yeldermart for sending these to me at a reasonable price. For my mini Raspberry Pi build, I decided to go with Ice Tower Cooling Fan Black by S2 Pi. However, I want to mention that I'm not sponsoring this brand and I actually paid for it from Microcenter after tax about $30. So this is an honest review of me saying everything about this uh, Ice Tower. Uh, the color that I decided to choose is black because it looks better to me and since my mini PC, uh, mini Raspberry Pi build is black, it matched it better. If you're interested in watching a mini Raspberry Pi PC desktop build, definitely check out my channel and I'll show you a step by step full tutorial on how to do that. The fan that's connected to the ice tower is an RGB fan, but beside the fan we can see some other things instead, including a user manual. Some other things that comes with this fan, it's a case which you can use it individually without buying any other case. Uh, however, I do not use it because I only needed the ice tower to put it on my mini PC build. An extra fan comes with the ice tower which you can mount it on the other side of the ice tower if you have enough room which is not RGB. However since I did not have enough room even for one ice tower, uh, I did not use the other fan nor the case. If you see at the end of the video where I connect the ice tower inside my case, uh, I also wanted to connect the GPIO extender. It was a really tight fit but I made it to work. However, one of the screws were sticking a little bit out, but that's fine. But without the GPIO uh, extender, as you can see here, it fits perfectly inside the case and it looks great. I really recommend getting an eye stopper because it reduces the temperature heavily and than just using a normal uh, heat sink. As you can see, the setup looks great and I really liked it and enjoyed it. If you have any question about this, definitely comment below. Other than this, thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.